the following video is going to show you how to save in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is go to File, Save As, and it's going to automatically show your image name and a PSD extension. PSD is Native Photoshop Format. Um, so whenever we want to save anything in Photoshop, we always want to save it in the PSD version. Um, now we talked about many other types of images in class, so let's take a look at them. We have BMP, we have TIFF, JPEG, we, have, we can actually save as a PDF, um, many different PNG, you know, all the types of image we talked about, GIFs, uh, you can save it as any of them. In here, the two main types we're going to be working with are PSD and JPEG. So whenever I want to save it as a JPEG, I actually do not save it here. I'm going to save it for web because that's when we're going to use our JPEGs is for the web. If I'm saving something for the desktop, I might use a different version. Um, but Always, 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 in addition to saving your JPEG or PNG or whatever file type you're using, always also save that PSD file. This keeps all your formatting, layering, styles, and all of that kind of stuff. We haven't gotten into that stuff in class yet, but we're going to next week. So just make sure you always have a PSD version and a JPEG version. All right, I'm going to cancel this because I'm going to now show you how to save as a... JPEG. I'm going to go to File, and instead of Save As, I'm going to click this Save for Web. When I click Save for Web, um, it's going to show me my photo optimized. Obviously, my photo is blank, so there's nothing there, but if I click 4 up, what it's going to do is it's actually going to show me my original image, how big it is, and it's going to give me several JPEG options. Um, notice how it says JPEG. It tells me how big is this file actually, and what I can do is I can actually check um, a different, so we'll just check a one megapixel, bit, megabits per second um, size, and it's going to show me that 3.2K is going to download or upload in about one second, um, and it's going to show me several different versions. Each one, this is 100% quality, 50% quality, 25% quality. So it's going to show me three different versions of my images um, at three different qualities, and obviously the 25% quality is the lowest or the f smallest file size. We talked about file sizes uh, last week, the other day, when we discussed, you know, how big do you do use an image on the mobile phone or the web and such like that. I'm going to select the version that I like the best. Uh, I can look up here for some options, but we're not going to really play around with them too much. I am always going to keep JPEG. I'm going to keep the quality at what I want it to be based on this. So and I'm always going to keep it at the maximum, at least when I can. I always choose to do that. You know, we've already done RGB, we've already selected our color, we're simply going to push save and it's going to save our image. And that's how you save in Photoshop. Thank you.